Grade 5 math number 2, moving place values of whole numbers. All right, well, we've been talking about place values. This chart goes up to 100 millions. See? Ones, tens, hundreds. Here's all our thousands. Here's our millions, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Well, for place values, a period, yep, a period, what you think is a little dot, a period is a group of three digits separated by commas in a multi-digit number. So this would be the ones period, the ones, tens, and hundreds. This would be the thousands period, the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And this would be the millions period, millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. See? In this number, this is 17,284,625. You can see the millions period here in between, see, from this side of the comma. Then in between these comma is the thousands period, and then here's the ones period. See? In the number 1,700,000, the 1 is in the millions place. It is equal to 1 times 1 million. In word form, we would write 1,700,000. See? 1,700,000. Because that's in the hundred thousands place. That's 7. In expanded form, we would write 1 times 1 million plus 7 times 100,000. But we can also think of it as 17 times 100,000. Instead of just a 7 times 100,000, we can move this 1 over to here and say 17 times 100,000. We can also say 170 times 10,000 or 1,700 times 1,000. So if you notice, the 0 is coming off of this side and going to this side. The 0 is coming off of this side and going to this side, see? We could say 17,000 times 100. That would still be 1,700,000, see? We're just taking the zeros off of this side and putting it onto that side. So think that 170 could be 17 times 10. Well, that's how 1,700,000 could be 17 times 100,000, see? When we look at this number, we've got 20,000. We can look at 20,000 as 2 times 10,000, right? 10,000 and 10,000. Or we could look at it as 20 times 1,000. See? 20,000 could be 21,000s, right? It could also be 200 100s. Or it could be 2,010s. So that tells us that 2,000, right here, is one-tenth of 20,000. Isn't that amazing? Let's look at 13,000. 13,000 can be thought of 13 thousands, right? If we had 1,000 13 times, we'd have 13,000. We can also look at it as 130 one hundreds or 1,300 tens. And that tells us, because of this last one, that 1,300 is one-tenth of 13,000. Let's try this big one, 400,000. 400,000 is the same thing as 4 times 100,000. We've got four of them, see? Or we could say it's 40 ten thousands, or 401 thousands, or 4,100s, or 40,000 tens. That tells us that this last one, 40,000, is one-tenth of 400,000. See? These all equal 400,000. All right, now we're going to get really big. Are you ready? Because our place value now for fifth grade is going up to 100 millions. This is 600 million. Whoo, huge, right? So here's our millions period, and we've got 600 here. See, here's the ones period, here's the thousands period, and now we're in the millions period. We're at 600 million. 600 million is the same thing as having 100 million six times. Okay? It's the same thing as having 60 times 10 million. It's the same thing as having 600 times 1 million, or 6,000 times 100,000, or 60,000 times 10,000, or 600,000 times 1,000, or 6 million times 100, or, here's our last one, 
60 million times 10. Every single one of these would be 600 million. And because of this last one, it tells us that 60 million is one-tenth of 600 million. Okay? So now I want to leave you with one last thought before we do our little remembering thing. Emma saved 5,000 pennies. Tala saved 500 pennies. Emma saved 10 times more pennies than Tala. See? Because 5,000 is equal to 500 times 10. So Emma saved 10 times more. Tala saved one-tenth as much as Emma because 500 times 10 is 5,000. See? Does that make sense to you? All right. So that's how we can move the place value. Instead of writing 600 million, what we could have done was in the tens place, we could have written 60 million in here. 60 million tens. That's how we move the place value. Isn't that odd? Yeah. I'm going to be talking about exponents soon. I'm all excited. I hope this helped. I'll see you next video. Keep working hard. I believe you can do this. I'm proud of you. And just keep going. Bye.